welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and let's take a look at the default passive interface command, which will put all of your interfaces into passive interface mode for EIGRP. We're running Topology Zero, the updated Topology Zero, and you can see here I've added three loopbacks there, or I've put in the typed information of three loopbacks. EIGRP is running, so all I need to do is go to Router 1, Go to router one and let's add in our loopbacks, interface loopback one, IP address, all ones and a two at the end. That's a slash 32. Interface loopback two, same deal, IP address 1.1.1.3. That's also a slash 32. And int loopback three, IP address, all ones and a four at the end. That's a slash 32. So we've got four loopbacks and a fast ethernet interface that gives us five interfaces. Let's say you had to put everyone into passive interface mode for whatever reason, right? Uh, real life, probably not a good idea, but you know, hey, uh, maybe your test or your CCIE lab will tell you to do that. So we could go into router EIGRP1 and we could do it manually. So that would be passive interface, fast zero, zero, passive interface, loopback zero, and you get the picture, hit the upper arrow, loopback one, loopback two, loopback three, and uh, we're done, right? But not a good idea. Uh, just too much typing. So let me just undo all of that stuff. And we're going to do a no passive interface, loopback zero, up arrow, loopback one, up arrow two, and three. Okay, so that's all done with. There is a passive interface default command, which will put everything into passive in one shot. So we start off the same passive interface, question mark, and you can see second to the last item here is default, suppress routing updates on all interfaces. All right, let's give it a shot. Default inter uh, passive interface default, enter. Bam, that throws everything into default mode. Our neighborship goes down. Exit out of there. We do a show IP route. You can see all we have is connected routes. We don't have any D routes. And if I do a show IP protocols, you could see here under passive interfaces, we've got all this wonderful stuff in passive mode. Hey, look, I've got the VoIP null zero interface also in passive mode. Why would you do this? Well, um, if you're setting up a new routing protocol, let's say this is the first time you're setting up EIGRP on router one and your whole network is EIGRP, you've got 50 routers setting up EIGRP. What you might want to do is start router EIGRP one and immediately do passive interface default while you configure the rest of the router because maybe you're not done with the IP addresses. Uh, maybe you haven't done the loopbacks correctly yet. So you're just playing it safe so that none of the other routers, you don't want their routing tables to go haywire because you're in now injecting updates into the whole network. So you passive interface the whole thing. You do all your IP addresses, do all your configurations, and then you could do the no passive interface default command to kill all that and bring everything back into EIGRP. Another thing you could do is the passive interface default command. Since it throws everything into passive mode, you could selectively take one of these out if you wanted to, like this fast ethernet 00, and you could simply do that by going into router EIGRP1, and then no passive interface fast 00. Okay, so passive interface default hits everything, but then you're being more specific and you're saying, okay, I want to take this particular one, take it out and make it active. And there's no limit. You could then selectively say, okay, I want loop back zero to be now sending and receiving updates. Okay, let's see how that looks on the show IP protocols, show IP protocols. And you could see here that under passive interface, Fast Ethernet 00 is missing and loopback 0 is missing. So because they're missing from this list, that means they are active. And if I do a show IP route, 
I should have a D route. Look at that. We have a D route to all twos, which is the loop back of router two. And let's take a look at router two's routing table. Go over here to router two. And you can see all these goodbyes and hellos received. And that's because we've been playing around with the passive interface command a lot. We've been bringing down that adjacency and bringing it back up. So router two, let's do a show IP route. And what do we have here? We've got some D routes here. That's good. And we've got, let's see here. Yep, we got D routes to loopback zero. We've got D routes to all of these. Now the reason you've got D routes is because even though we're not sending and receiving updates out of these interfaces, these loopback interfaces, we're still taking the network, popping it into EIRGP and sending it across. We can sort of pretend that these loopbacks are extra links out here, like another fast Ethernet interface, so a line going out here and three lines going out there, right? All the passive interface command is doing is it's killing the sending and receiving of updates going out and in of these interfaces right here. But we're still taking this network, this IP address, popping it into the EIGP routing table, the EIGP topology table, and then throwing it over to router two. And that's how router two is able to get all of these D routes right here. If you wanted to actually kill the updates from router one, we can use a distribute list, but that is going to be for another video. For now, just remember that passive interface default command is killing the sending and receiving of updates on that particular interface and actually it's going to be doing it for all the interfaces on a particular router but you can easily take an interface out by doing conf t router eigp1 we're doing this on router 2 so it's not actually going to do anything but just for demonstration purposes no passive interface and then just the name of the interface to take it out of passive interface mode all right that was it for this video thanks for watching